steel work fixings. And by steel work fixings at Lindapter, we mean fixing any bit of steel to any other bit of steel. So it can be a beam to beam connection, beam to column connection, um, something like heavy duty pipe supports, even things like lightweight cable trays. So anywhere where you've got some secondary steel work that you want to fix to existing steel work, that comes under our umbrella of steel work fixings. Now within this range of steel work fixings, we can divide it into two broad categories when we're looking at them. So we've got a range of fixings that are for use in tension and another range of fixings that are predominantly for use in slip loading applications. So we'll start off with the tensile ones. Now within this range, we've got three clamps, the type A, the type B and the type LR. And all of these are available in different sizes and different finishes to suit the environment they're used in and also the tensile um, load that they will be uh, will be applied to them. Now, if you look at that type A clamp, if you remember the very first slide when we, we went into how Lindapter as a company was formed, that clamp is exactly the same design as that very first clamp that Henry Lindsay designed in his little workshop in Bradford. The materials have changed and obviously the range of sizes have changed, but it's still fundamentally the same clamp. Now the type A and type B, um, these clamps, if you look at them, they are identical other than the type A has a recess in the top of it. Now that's there primarily to hold the bolt captive when you're installing these clamps. Other than that, those clamps are the same. They've got the same safe working loads as each other um, and they do the same job. With these clamps, we call them fixed tail clamps. So you can see there's a tail at the back of the clamp. Now, these tails have to be more or less the same size as the beam you're trying to connect to. So they are fairly limited. You can use packing pieces to extend the clamping range a little bit, but these are only suitable for use on parallel flanges. So they do have their limitations. If you've got, um, say an old tapered flange you're fixing to, quite often with refurbishments of old structures, you come across an old tapered beam. Well, sometimes you've just got a lot of different beam sizes within a project, or you just want a, another level of adjustability. We've got the LR clamp. Now this is a self-adjusting clamp. So it sits on the beam and it self-adjusts to suit the beam you're connecting to. And it has a saddle that sits on top of the clamp that you bolt onto. Now these, they're, um, they're suitable for use with both parallel and tapered flanges. And another advantage is you can use them, like this example on this slide, with a bracket with a slotted hole. So in terms of adjustability and versatility on site, this clamp really is a lot more adjustable and versatile than the type A and type B. And again, you can use these with packing pieces again to extend the clamping range. Now this animation just shows how the type A and B clamps are most commonly used. They're used in this sort of configuration that we call a girder clamp, clamp configuration. So you can see you've got your existing steelwork, your new steelwork you want to connect to it. And in between those two pieces of steel, we have this fabricated plate. Now that's called a location plate. And as the name suggests, it's there to locate those clamps correctly so that once they're installed and tightened to the correct tightening torque, that connection will carry the safe working loads that we publish. So you can see they're used in two pairs, a type A on the bottom, a type B on top, in four pairs, sorry. And they are positioned by the use of this location plate. Now that plate is something that we will design for you specifically for your connection. So we will design the plate thickness, the plate dimensions and the whole centers based on your connection. Um, don't generally supply it, it's generally um, fabricated by whoever's doing the steel work on a project. It's more cost effective for yourselves to have it done that way.